He is a neutral runner, he specifies, but his wife gifted them uh, to him and so he has to use them. Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. My name is Alex. Welcome to the third episode. Um, it's going crazy fast, right? Third episode of our um, React to my subscribers rotations series. And tonight we have some great shoes to discuss. So um, let's dive in. I think the form is still in the description of the video so you can still fill in the form if you want to submit your shoe rotation and if you want me to um, react to it. Again, I'm not saying what's right, what's wrong. I'm not uh, judging at all your choices. And I'm just trying to, you know, uh, see different forms of, of shoe rotations and hopefully this can help other people on the channel, other viewers, other subscribers to um, pick their, their shoes and um, based on other people's uh, experience. So thanks a lot for submitting your shoe rotation and let's begin with uh, tonight's first shoe rotation submitted by uh, Gavin Clark, Gavin Clark Music. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your names, I really do apologize uh, for that. So first shoe submitted by uh, Gavin Clark Music, it's the Nike Zoom X Invincible 2021 original colorway, 125 miles and um, I must say the, um, the, the colorway is not my favorite but um, Gavin is obviously, uh, you know, providing some great care to uh, his shoes because the, um, the midsole is looking really nice. So uh, kudos for that, Gavin. And uh, yeah, very nice picture as well. I like this series of, of pictures sent by Gavin because you will see the, the picture are quite nice. Uh, Gavin uses the, the, the Invincible for long rounds, uh, 10 kilometers to half marathon. I'm not doing that myself because I find the shoe to be um, too, you know, unstable or at least with uh, fatigued legs. I'm not quite enjoying it as much for longer distances. Everything I do with the Invincible myself is below 10 kilometers or maybe, you know, like 12, 13 on, on easy days. Um, but that's it. And, uh, but very interesting to know that some people take it up to the half marathon on um, long runs. So uh, that's, that's good to know and I think it can be helpful for other people. Second shoe submitted by Gavin Clark Music. It's the New Balance Fresh Firm More V3 2021. 25 miles on it. And this is something Gavin uses for uh, his easy recovery miles from five kilometers up to 13 kilometers. I mean, again, uh, I already said it in the previous episode, but I'm really interested in this shoe and hopefully I can uh, put together some, some nice battle comparison with um, Maximalist daily trainers, including this one, the More V3. It's, it seems to be a very soft and, and very nice option. I would be interested to hear from uh, you, Gavin Clark Music, in the comments about how you compare the More V3 with the Invincible. If you uh, are watching the video and if you remember, um, please drop me a, a comment or an email, whatever. I'm happy to, to hear uh, about that. Uh, third shoe submitted by Gavin Clark Music. It's the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel V2 original colorway. Same here, the midsole is looking really nice. Um, I don't know if Gavin, Gavin is cleaning up his shoes because they look awesome or if he's taking the pictures um, first thing when he receives the shoes, which uh, I do because then, you know, when they get dirty, the, the picture are less nice. Little uh, Instagram trick. Um, anyways, Gavin is uh, using the Rebel V2 for uh, tempo runs, faster tempo runs from 5K to 10 kilometers. Uh, again, someone using the, the Rebel V2 for tempo runs. I'm not doing this myself, uh, but we already had someone last week doing this. And so very interesting for you out there, if you're looking at the Rebel V2 and you're wondering if it can handle up tempo paces and tempo runs, it sure can, but some people are actually using it this way. So this is good to know. Fourth shoe submitted by uh, Gavin Clark Music. It's the Puma Velocity. Um, which Gavin uses as a daily trainer, mixed, pace, uh, mixed paces, tempo, five kilometers to 10 kilometers, and also easy runs. Uh, this is a nice colorway. This is one that I think Robin had uh, in his DV8 Nitro last week, if I remember well. Uh, but lots of shoes uh, coming, so lots of pictures. I may be wrong. Nice colorway anyways, and um, same here, 45 miles, and the shoe is looking really good. 
which is not surprising because the, the Puma shoes are really sturdy and um, that's the, the way Gavin uses the velocity is actually the way I would use it as well, should it be in my rotation. Fifth and last shoe from Gavin Clark Music, the Puma Deviate Nitro 2021, 45 miles on it. And this is for faster paces, 5K to 15K rounds, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Two Pumas, two New Balances and one Nike. One plated shoe, very nice rotation. Kudos to you Gavin Clark Music, very nice pictures and very clean shoes. Uh, I think that deserves a round of applause. Um, I need to find a bell or something to uh, give some applauses. But you, you would all get them because you all are sending very nice uh, pictures. So anyways, you can consider that if you were in the first two episodes, you received the, the applauses or the, the bell rings, whatever the case may be. Um, second rotation we are looking at tonight is sent by, uh, wait a second, it's sent by Anba. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Anba uh, from Malaysia. And the first shoe Anba sent is the Puma Deviate Nitro, um, which he uses for long runs and medium runs. And, um, and also quite funny, Anba says when he doesn't get proper sleep uh, below five hours uh, and he has to run early in the morning, it's uh, nice to keep a low heart rate with this shoe. Quite interesting and thank you Anba for being so specific. I think it can, it can really help other people to uh, hear how uh, you are using your shoes. Very simple black and white colorway looking nice and this shoe has 200 kilometers on it and it looks quite fresh. Um, second shoe Anba submitted is the Puma Ultra Ride from 2020, 100 kilometers. Uh, same here, black and white colorway. I'm not familiar with this shoe, but I know in some regions, some countries, um, the Puma Nitro lineup isn't uh, available, or at least not all the shoes. And so I know the Ultra Ride is available in some markets um, uh, for you know replacement, or at least um, as uh, other options uh, by by Puma. Anba is using his Puma Ultra Ride for fast runs, tempo runs, 1K, 2K workouts. Uh, or 4K time trials, um, which is quite interesting. This may be an option for you to consider. And I know Anba uh, said that uh, these shoes were also quite nice for him because they were available at uh, good uh, you know, conversion rates in, um, in Malaysia. Next from Anba, we have uh, the Puma Speed 500 Netfit. Um, again, black and white shoe, so uh, nice, nice uh, consistency between the colorways here. 240 kilometers from 2019 and this one Amba uses as a daily trainer also for long runs and easy days. Um, he really likes the ability to customize lacing uh, as he wishes um, which is quite nice. Again I'm not familiar with this shoe but if, um, if this is a shoe available in your region then Anba's input may be useful for you. Shoe number four Puma Speed Ignite and you will notice that Anba almost uh, has uh, only um, Puma shoes, at least, I mean, he only sent Puma shoes. So this is a great one brand rotation, which is I think unique so far, very nice. Uh, Speed Ignite 500, um, this is his go-to shoe for 1K reps and uh, 200 kilometers 2016. A uh, very nice example of a shoe that has five years and that uh, is still looking very nice. And if Anba uses it, I'm pretty sure uh, the shoe still delivers some nice, um, some nice cushion and some nice performance. Last shoe sent by Enba, it's the uh, Liberate Nitro from uh, Puma. Excellent shoe, it's the one I know the most with the DV8 Nitro in Enba's rotation. Um, very nice shoe, so overall very nice rotation, Puma all the way and I'm very happy to have this example. It may be helpful for you out there in Malaysia or in other regions where these shoes are available and good examples um, to, um, to see how someone else uses them. All right, now we have Tarun from the Netherlands. And the first shoe submitted by Tarun is the Reebok Floatride Energy 3. This is a shoe that we already had in the first episode of this series, 100 kilometers from 2021. And Tarun uses it for his easy days, very nice. And you will notice Tarun's uh, amazing pictures, the lightning, the um, everything is, is looking really, really nice. So thank you Tarun for the very nice pictures. Uh, second shoe sent by Tarun is uh, the Fuel Cell Rebel V2. 
2021, 280 kilometers, original colorway, uh, moderate paces, tempo, again, someone using the Rebel V2 for tempo paces. Very good to know that, that so many people are actually using this shoe for tempo workouts. Third shoe submitted by Tarun is the um, Sukoni Endorphin Speed 2021, 150 kilometers long runs. Um, yeah, very good choice. And um, fourth shoe submitted by Tarun, it's the Sukoni Endorphin Pro 2021, 60 kilometers race day. So very interesting to see that Tarun uses the Endorphin Speed for long runs on training and then Endorphin Pro for racing. This can uh, be useful for you. And then the two Rebel V2 and Flockride Energy 3 for um, training. And the Stride Pod, obviously on the shoe, I'm a huge uh, Stride fan and I'm myself training with power, as you may know. So kudos for that Tarun and kudos for the, for the very nice pictures. Very good job. Um, last rotation we're discussing tonight is sent by Mad Femur Fast. And Mad Femur Fast sent four shoes uh, in one picture, uh, very nice as well, very nice background, very green from the USA. Um, seems like, uh, you know, a green and a nice nature um, in your area, so that's, that's nice to see. Um, first shoe submitted by Mad Femur Fast is the Rebel V2, which you can see uh, second from the right um, in that black and red colorway. I have a friend of mine which is a big fan of that uh, colorway. Nice shoe and tempo intervals for um, Mad Femur Fast and the Rebel V2. So um, very interesting and it seems like uh, the minority of us, me included, are using this shoe for easy stuff and most of you are using the Rebel V2 for tempo and, and intervals, um, which is very interesting to, to hear. Second is the Hoka Oneone Gaviota 3. First time I'm uh, having this shoe in this series and overall not a shoe that I'm very uh, familiar with. 2021, 45 miles and this is um, Matt Femi Fast daily trainer. He is a neutral runner, he specifies, but his wife gifted them uh, to him and so he has to use them. Uh, he says in the, in, the little, um, in the little box to explain how he uses the shoe. Very nice to hear and very nice gift from your wife, I must say. Um, and yeah, I mean, uh, this is a stability shoe. He's a neutral runner, but it, it doesn't hurt. And for uh, easy stuff, that, that's okay. Then we have um, the Enda Lapatet uh, from 2020, 170 miles. Favorite daily trainer and uh, so this is really really interesting. Look at this shoe. This is not a very famous one But this is Matt Femme Fast favorite daily trainer and as you can see he has the Rebel V2 He has the RC Elite V1 which we'll uh, come back to in a second and his favorite daily trainer is the Endelapatet So if you have this shoe available in your local running store around your house um, Maybe you can go and try it. I'm not familiar with it, but uh, this is a nice incentive to, to go try the shoe for sure Last shoe, um, it's the New Balance Fuel Cell RC Elite V1, green flashy colorway, I love it. Um, and 60 miles, long distance runs for Match Family Fast racing. And he says, well, if there are uh, any races. I do agree, I hope there will be races and um, I hope mine will not be canceled, but yours uh, as well will not be canceled or at least you will have some of, on your uh, schedule. Very nice rotation, very interesting, very different from what we, we had uh, so far. Uh, the Gaviota, the RC Elite V1, Rebel V2 and the Lapatet, which is again Matt Femme Fast's favorite daily trainer. Very interesting and um, thank you for submitting the very nice picture. This is all for today, uh, guys. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in tonight. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, do not hesitate. Go hit the subscribe button down there and um, let's grow to, I think the next milestone must be 2000, uh, I guess, by the time this video publishes. So let's hit that 2000 subscribers. And um, yeah, thanks a lot for submitting such nice uh, pictures. Take care, enjoy your run, your rides, go beyond your limits, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.